Thanks for watching Afternoon Live. When it comes to reproductive health, so many women are searching for relief from symptoms like painful periods or hot flashes, but don't know where to turn for natural solutions. Here with suggestions, we welcome traditional Chinese medicine expert, Lu Lu Ji. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, it's great to be on, Hannah. So tell me a little bit about your journey that you found some relief from your own pain through some really holistic solutions. Yes, exactly. So my journey with hormone health really started when I went off hormonal contraceptives or birth control, which is prescribed for 60% of women to manage a menstrual or hormonal imbalance such as acne, headaches, cramps, irregular cycles. And luckily for me, my grandfather actually ran a hospital in Hunan, southern province of Asia. So I found my way back to Eastern medicine and holistic practices, really focusing on diet, lifestyle, stress management, to lower inflammation and bring my hormones back to balance to naturally support these symptoms. What was that like for you, that learning curve? That's so wonderful that you had such a great resource in your own family, but I imagine you had to relearn a lot of things. Definitely. Um, I think a lot of principles of how we nourish ourselves and how food can be like medicine for us, the importance of really having proper sunlight and vitamin D in the morning to help regulate our cycles and really how our periods and our menstrual cycles are a vital sign for our overall health. And a lot of these symptoms are really underlying signals from our bodies of wanting additional support. Do you think a lot of women are just kind of suffering in silence and thinking, well, this pain is normal, these symptoms, all of my friends are going through this, so I'll just have to suffer along and, and just deal with it? Yeah, unfortunately, just because it's common doesn't mean it's normal. And here in the U.S., up to 90% of us are experiencing some type of premenstrual symptom or hormonal imbalance and feeling like we just have to suck it up and power through when the reality is we have a lot of tools at our disposal to naturally reverse the impacts of inflammation and hormonal imbalance and help ourselves heal. What are some of the things that you found either that helped you personally or other women in terms of like those food and dietary plans that can really reduce some of those symptoms? Yeah, definitely. In terms of food, I think number one is really about how we're consuming enough healthy fibers and limiting um, the processed foods and sugars. And in addition, studies show that omega-3s and antioxidants are especially important. So making sure we're getting enough of those leafy greens and salmon and blueberries. And one big hack I learned is a lot of us are probably rushing out the door in the morning and having coffee on an empty stomach. That could totally spike our cortisol stress hormone and just send our hormones into a state of imbalance that leaves us crashing and moody and anxious and so making sure we're having a healthy 20 to 30 grams of protein at breakfast before we drink our morning coffee or tea that is absolutely essential to setting our day off on the right start so many of us can relate to that rushed coffee out the door but it's a great investment like you said in the rest of your day if you start out on the right foot what about people dealing with something like pcos specifically that can be really mysterious and hard to navigate are there certain things that you found that really help those symptoms Yes, so PCOS, um, it's in, it's in essence like a, a metabolic um, state and in a recent clinical trial led by Elix Healing, we saw that personalized herbal support. So herbs such as Angelica sinensis, this is known as the female ginseng. It has vitamins B12, A, E, iron, folate, all things you would find in a woman's multivitamin occur in really high natural levels in this herb. So this is something that is a great hormone health supporter. Um, other herbs and medicinal mushrooms such as this is a reishi medicinal mushroom. It's known of a class called a adaptogens, which help our bodies adapt to stress. Um, these can really help supplement our the foods that we're eating and really help our bodies. And what about just overall empowering women to take control of their own health and, and speak up and ask questions? You know, that can be hard just to begin with for a lot of us. 
Definitely. Um, and we have a lot of resources on on um, my personal blog and also Elix Healing's blog that really has questions that you can bring to your gynecologist or your primary care provider. We know that in the U.S., majority of women have had an experience where they felt like their symptoms and their pain was not taken seriously by a healthcare provider. And we create a lot of content that's really inspiring women to ask more questions and you know get the care that we all deserve if you don't feel comfortable with one provider there's definitely more out there who could be a great fit and at the end of the day you know investing in women's health is a very new category it wasn't actually until 1993 that NIH passed a bill which required women to be involved in clinical studies so unfortunately Unfortunately, a lot of the products on the market um, were mostly tested on male bodies, not female bodies. There's a long way we still have to go. And I believe that if we take our health into our own hands, that's how we can advocate for change and really make sure that you are getting the care you deserve. Yeah, that knowledge is so powerful and moving things in the right direction. Hey, thank you so much for chatting with us today. Thank you. It's great to meet you. We'll have more information on our website at katu.com. We'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this.